very quick uh, tutorial on the array modifier and how to use it to create uh, roof tiles. Quite simple. We'll start off by pressing X to delete the default cube because we don't need it. And we will add mesh plane. We're going to edit mode by pressing tab, pressing Control R to add a loop cut right in the middle. I'm not going to go into modeling, it's purely how to use the array modifier to create a, a uh, tiled roof. And we'll press Control V to bevel and scroll on the mouse wheel to create a, a nice uh, curve. And what we'll do, we'll just extrude these out a bit by pressing E. Uh, it's on the Y. Do the same on the other side, just so they're roughly equal. Again, not going into modeling. This is going to be very quick and simple. And the first thing we'll do, we'll just add a modifier, solidify. And we'll just make it a bit bigger, a bit thicker. Smooth shading. Okay, that's that's all I'm going to do for the uh, modelling. The first thing we need to do, let's just make it a bit smaller. The first thing we need to do, otherwise it's, this won't work properly. If you press Control A and apply rotation and scale. It'll make our lives a lot easier. So, array modifier on the wrench. I've just got rid of the solidify by accident, so let's put that back on again quickly. Make a mistake. Who cares? Let's apply that. Right now, press Control A again just to confirm it. Rotation and scale. Add modifier array. As you can see, it's going that way. That's not what we want. We want it to go this way. So we've got the, the count is how many. Now, red line is the X, that's the Y. So what we're going to do is just hide that for the minute. And let's just rotate that 90 degrees. Rotate on the Z 90 degrees, that's going to rotate it around. Okay, press Control A, apply rotation and scale. And let's do the array modifier. So, add modifier, array. Now it's going in the right direction. Account four, seven. Let's do seven. Okay, now we've got the relative offset 1, that's the X, the Y, and the Z. So we've got Y, you increase or decrease this, you can change how they overlap. Obviously, if we want it at 1, obviously, it depends on the uh, style and shape of your tile. You can have them overlapping if that's what you want, but we're just going to do this simply. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply that modifier, and now you can change all of these if you want to. Now, because tiles overlap, what we're going to do, we're just going to add a slight rotation on the tiles. Pressing R, X to constrain it on the X. Put a slight bevel on there, a slight rotation. And now let's add another modifier, Array. Now, as you can see, because it's set to X as 1, it's added it to the X. We want it to go on to the Y. So what we'll do, we'll take the X to zero, and we'll put the Y to one. And as you can see, it's added it. It's added it behind. Now, if we keep doing that, it's just gonna keep adding tiles. That's fine, if that's what you want. But we don't want that. Let's just take that back down to two. We want our tiles to come underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the Y and take it beyond the other side. 0.8 maybe. They're overlapping there as you can see. That's not what we want. So what we need to do is to take these tiles up down. So we will increase the Z. Decrease the Z rather. 
so it goes underneath. Something like that, maybe. Now, when we increase the count, there's your tiles all added together. So we will, again, you can do it to whatever size you want. You press apply. And if we go into side view, that's what they look like. They are going up ever so slightly, but that's okay. So we'll rotate on the X. And there's the slope on the roof. And obviously you can use this as you would do with any other object once you've done. <coughs> and we'll just add a quick material to it, just for the heck of it. Now I've got PBR materials from 3D Wolf. It's a great little add-on. And we'll just put on, uh, I don't know, we'll just put on a random texture. We'll call it brick. That's what they are, I suppose, a brick texture. Change the colour. And there we go, there's your roof tiles. I'm not going to go into a, uh, texturing, this is purely how to use the array modifier to very quickly and very simply create some roof tiles. Thank you very much.